Welcome to Honest Cigar Reviews, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even for. <laughs> I can't do that without laughing. That's just a shout out to Bradley from Stuff and Things. He's only, he, you know, he's almost been on YouTube for a year. He almost has 4,000 subscribers, which I think is, you know, that's like four times as much as I have, and like a fourth the amount of time. So just a shout out to him. I think that's awesome. If you guys don't know his channel, check it out. I'll put it in the description below. But yeah, today I'm just gonna be uh, making my little. Uh, let's see here. My usual coffee here. Now the the cream has actually kind of melted because it's hot today. It's like 80 degrees and super humid. So while I was I was setting up the video, the cream started melting. But <clears throat> this is just kind of like my routine. I make a little Irish coffee. Actually, this one's not even Irish. It's not even cordial. It's just whipped cream I made out of the mocha pot and uh, using the blender to whip up the cream. Just a dash of cinnamon. Boom! There we go. That's my coffee here. Mm. And it's very, very good because uh, you get the cold cream <clears throat> and the hot coffee and they collide right in the middle. It's a very unique experience. This is a nice French roast, uh, Starbucks French, French roast, nice and smoky and dark. And I think I just put a little bit of hazelnut bean in there as well. So it's just a little bit lighter, but always great with cigars. And uh, yeah, just want to give a quick shout out to the Lighter Leash. I got one of these, so if you guys saw on Instagram, yes, I, I actually do have one and I'm really excited to review it. You know, give it a week or two here, but that'll come up soon. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be smoking some Durbar. Let's see here. But the topic of today's video is the worst pipe I have ever had. And you know, I've only had I only have like five or six pipes I've ever owned. You know, so it's not terribly bad but I'm using a my little rough rider here it's a really classic little little folder here I use it to tamp though because it's like a ten dollar pocket knife and it's a, the perfect amount of weight to tamp with its own weight you know just let it kind of use its own weight and then when I'm done I use it to ream out because I got like four blades on here so I use like this little sheep's foot style blade and just kind of use the back, the back of the blade to clean it out. But anyway, I'm going to cut myself. It's a great little, yeah, great little $10 knife. I've had this for a few years. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get reacquainted with Durbar. It's a pretty good blend. I just, I don't know, I'm trying to age it a little bit. I'm not, you know, it's kind of an oriental blend, so I'm trying to get used to orientals and the sour notes. Uh, you know, it's like, it's not like I don't, I don't, I don't hate it, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to like it. I'm trying to acquire the taste and understand it so I can give a proper review. Um, so far, I still like 965 maybe the best. Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to today's topic, the worst pipe I have ever, well, I haven't even smoked it. It's so bad, I haven't even smoked it. I got it as a present from my dad for my birthday, and my dad, he's not a pipe smoker. Bless his heart for giving me an awesome present, but I guess he thought this would be a good present. And uh, yeah, so here's the box right here. It's actually a nice looking box. It says KSI right on the logo, right on the box there. And I got this and I was like, what could it be, you know? And I opened it up and I saw these little instructions here and I said, oh, it's a pipe, pipe care instructions. So obviously it's a pipe. Then I saw this cute little stand and actually I quite like these stands because they're super light, they fold up flat and they hold your pipe for you. If your pipe can't stand on its own, you can use one of these. You know, so these were all things that I was thinking, like, wow, this looks really great. 
You know, that's how it works. And then I saw this little leather bag here. And I remember thinking like, wow, this is a pretty decent looking bag. And um, yeah, so let's just open it up here. Here we go. Ta-da. This is the worst pipe. And you know, again, this is not a slam with my dad because I really appreciate this gift. I mean, he's, he thought of me, you know. He knows I like pipes. But uh, this is just, I think it's a KSI pipe out of China. So he probably got this off of eBay. But the bit is plastic, really bad plastic. It smells, it smells like plastic, which is really weird. And I, I put it in my mouth a few times. It's quite heavy. But the problem with this pipe is that the stinger is so restricted, I can't even suck through it. It's like drinking a super thick milkshake, so I know I wouldn't be able to actually smoke out of this. And uh, the bowl coat smells kind of weird. I don't know. It, smell, it doesn't smell like, like your average pipe. It just, it just smells kind of strange, like a weird factory smell. And nothing fits like the, like, the fin like the flushness of it isn't right, you know. Nothing, you know, there's weird divots in the top here. It's a brand new pipe, but there's weird fills on the wood, and it's not briar. I think it's some sort of hardwood. Some strange fills here. And uh, it's just a weird pipe. I don't, I can't describe it. I mean, I thought it'd be great, and then I put it in my mouth, and I'm like, I can't even, there's no draw on it. So if you are looking into getting pipes, I would say be careful because um, you know eBay they have pipes and uh, there's there's good pictures and they're maybe out of China and they're like ten bucks, but you're you're probably better off getting a nice estate pipe like this. You know, uh, this is a nice uh, you know what is this like a I forgot it was a second like a one of those really nice seconds. I'll put it second. What was it called? It's like an Irwin's pipe, which is like a second of another brand. Anyway, but like this pipe right here, this is a lot better. I mean, it has a draw. It's super nice briar. This was 12 bucks. This probably maybe cost more, and it's super heavy. The plastic is like really weird in the mouth. And it just, it, I can't smoke it. There's no draw, so... Anyway, that's just my worst pipe ever. I'm definitely going to use this box though and the little, um, the little uh, pipe stand here. That's great, you know. But uh, you know, it's nothing that my dad he just doesn't know. I think maybe a good rule of thumb is if it comes with, if it comes with like care for your pipe, maybe it's not a maybe you know. I know Peterson might come with instructions, but it might not be a good pipe if it comes with instructions. You know, I don't know. And that's not to say that all KSI pipes are bad, it's just this one's bad, so, you know, maybe I'll figure it out, but pull the stinger out somehow. But, yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Mm -hmm. It's raining like crazy outside, I don't know if you can hear that. Got my new lapel mic, so it's pretty good at blocking out surrounding sounds like the fan and the rain. But, uh... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for a few reviews like the Durbar mixture. I got plenty of cigars in my humidor back here. Um, I'm going to be doing some, all kinds of reviews here. What else am I going to be doing? Lighter Leash, of course. I'm going to do some reviews of the BJ Long's cleaners here. Just some tips, you know, for pipe smokers and cigar smokers. And that's about it. Have a wonderful day. Aha, I almost forgot to do the book of if. So for today's if statement, let's see here. It says, if you could eliminate any one type of insect permanently from the earth, what would you get rid of? Now obviously for me I'd say in, uh, mosquitoes because of malaria, but uh, and because they're annoying and stuff. But then I'm thinking of all the other animals that would suffer if there was no more mosquitoes, like all the spiders and then all of the frogs and you know just the whole you know the whole chain would probably be affected but a lot of, you know a lot of people would die from malaria so I, I think I'll say mosquitoes if not mosquitoes then maybe like 
ticks, maybe ticks, because, you know, in the U.S., we have Lyme disease, um, which doesn't seem as prominent anymore. Maybe ticks, because then not a lot of animals would be affected by ticks. So probably ticks and mosquitoes. What about you? What would you guys prefer to see eliminated forever? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you later.